Hi, Mike McCulley here at the Caribou Fire Center. I'm out in the in the air base here at the Caribou Airport. I'm uh, talking today a little bit about the weather, obviously. We know that we're going to see some lightning coming through the Caribou Fire Center along with some wind. Uh, when we get lightning and we get new fire starts, we tend to use our initial attack crews to get out ahead of those, get on them quickly and deal with them. So today I am joined by the SIFAC 9 initial attack crew. I have Brandon Patterson with me, Nick Pankratz and Lexi Peterson. And we're just going to talk a little bit about what it's like for them to uh, do their job and how it all looks in the big picture. So Brett, uh, Nick, maybe as the crew leader, you could talk to us a little bit about uh, the standby that you're on. I know you folks are on Red Alert Standby. Maybe you could explain to people what that looks like and what that means. Sure. So Red Alert Standby is basically, we're on our quickest response time. We have all our gear loaded in this heli. So the second a phone call comes in or somebody reports a fire, we can be lifting and going to that. And the quicker we get to a fire, our higher, the higher our chance of success is. Excellent. And Brandon, uh, you know, maybe you could talk a little bit about how long you've been doing this for and how you got engaged with uh, firefighting on an initial attack crew. Well, this is my fourth year doing this. I started through the school program. It's called the Junior Initial Attack Program. And so they take kids out of grade 12 and they run them through the program and some of those kids get a job their first summer out of school. Excellent. And uh, Lexi, we talked a little bit earlier about what it's like to train and be fit for the job in the off season. Maybe you could explain to folks what you have to do to stay prepared and uh, what type of fitness testing you have to pass to stay part of this crew. Um, yeah, well, I go to university in the fall, so you definitely have to find a balance with work and working out because the fitness test is quite challenging. So I try and stay on top of it throughout the year so I don't have to catch up when I come back for summer. Excellent. Uh, Nick, I know that as the crew leader, uh, your crew was engaged here when the fires broke out. Extremely challenging. Can you talk to us a little bit about uh, what that looked like and how it was for your crew, especially since some of you live in Williams yeah. Lake and were evacuated? Uh, well, when all of this started, everyone was really asked to step up. Uh, everyone had to take a role that they weren't used to, and I think everyone handled that really well. We always fall back on safety, so no one went above and beyond too much. We made sure that we we worked well within our means and with the evacuation that was always over our head but we had to focus on our job and do our best to stay in the moment. Excellent. Uh, Brandon, you guys you guys and girls go out every day into a helicopter, you're using chainsaws, you're working around dangerous trees. Uh, we know that safety of our responders such as you is our top priority but maybe you can talk a little bit about how you mitigate those, uh, you know, those challenges every day to ensure you're safe. Um, it's a lot of being aware of your surroundings. We um, use an acronym called LACES. Uh, it stands for multiple things and when you follow those it makes sure you can get out or that you are safe at your fire and yeah we really watch out for each other watch out for ourselves and make sure everyone goes home yeah so i always notice the camaraderie on the crews i know that long after your crew uh, breaks up you stay friends for quite a while in a lot of cases so lexi maybe can you talk a little bit about what your crew is like to get along with you know you're on 24 hour standby together what does that look like and how has that been through a busy summer like this well it's actually been really fun this is our third deployment together and we've worked hard and we've definitely had fun through all of it yeah, excellent. I mean, I watch you look out for each other quite a lot. Maybe uh, you could talk to folks again, Nick, about uh, what it feels like to be involved in such a large, complex operation that's really impacted the whole caribou in the communities and, you know, how that feels for you folks in terms of reward or not when you go and accomplish your goals. Uh, well, there is a lot of, it is a rewarding feeling to go out when we do our, achieve our objectives with so many people coming from around the world. It really is a joint effort to do our best to protect communities and every success we get, we, it's it shared throughout the fire center. Yeah, excellent. Well, you know, on behalf of the communities, I'd really like to thank you all for your work. This is an initial attack crew, one piece of a very large puzzle that we're working hard on here in the Caribou. Um, again, uh, thank you very much and uh, keep up the good work and please yeah. be safe.